Let's get straight into it. We're a little bit later than we should be, but that's on us. We're doing NBA All-Star history at this point. At this point, you can go straight to what's new and just take me there. You can open some packs if you want to. But before we get to opening any kind of packs or jumping through any kind of hoops like that, let's see what we have on open. Oh, nothing? Okay, cool. Either way, we can go over here to challenges, the home screen challenges, season one challenges, NBA All-Star history. For the whole thing, you get a 10 pack. You get a 10 pack NBA All-Star history 10 pack. We'll be back to open that 10 pack as soon as I'm done grinding. Now, first, we're going to have to score 20 points in a game with a small forward three times. Then we're going to have to get 250 points, assists, and rebounds with the Suns player over multiple games. And then we're going to have to get 250 points, assists, rebounds with a Knicks player over multiple games. 25 team rebounds in a game, score 35 points with a player in a game, make 100 three-pointers over multiple games, make 100 dunks over multiple games, and then make 25 four-pointers over multiple clutch time games. This doesn't seem like it's gonna be too hard to do. The hardest one of these to do, matter of fact, none of these look like they'll, they'll even be the hardest one to do. None of these actually look hard. You're gonna get 250 points, assists, and rebounds with a Suns player and a Knicks player over the flow of the game. Just keep a Suns player and a Knicks player in your lineup for all of these games. The first one that I would attack, actually, we're just gonna go into a triple threat. We're gonna score all the points with a, with a small forward. It's that easy. Safe light repair, safe light replace. You know what I'm saying? Easy call. Well, anyway, just three, three games, just doing that over and over. Get straight to the bucket or shoot a three or something. That shouldn't have been a foul. You see what I'm getting at here though. All right, so we made it. Marquise Johnson, that fire Marquise Johnson. I mean, eh, it is what it is. If I can sell them, I'll sell them. Let's see what we get to next. All right, man, I got caught up while recording this video. So this is gonna be later than usual. I didn't get the grinding out of the way, but as you can see, I got most of this done. I still gotta get these dunks in, which is easy. That's the, one of the easiest parts. Like I told you, these 250s are easy. I showed you how to go ahead and get the method for those. The hardest part that I found about this challenge happens to be these 25 team rebounds. And I got caught up on them and had to do some other things, but I'm in triple threat trying to do them. This is the method I used. I went ahead and I got Tyson Chandler out here and I've been trying to use Wimby, but he's kind of slow. So we're going to replace player. I'm going to go ahead and search for, I'm going to go just search your directory for rebounding, rebounding. And at this point, I don't have a 99 rebounder or a 95. I think I have a 90. Yeah, I got a few 90s. We, I can use Dennis Rodman. You can use Dennis Rodman. He's pretty good. I only have 18 games with brother. So I'm, I might go ahead and try to use one again. I tried, to, I tried one earlier and failed miserably. But this is the hardest part about this challenge. So yippity doo dah, yippity day, my oh my, what a wonderful day. We got another chance to do it. So we're going to try to jump in here and get right. I mean, that's just that's just all we can do. At this point in the game, I would I would implore you, I would beg of you to go over here to your controller settings, turn this to high risk reward or one of these risk rewards. If you do this on real player, you're going to make too many shots. You just you're not guaranteed to miss on two um, on real player percentage. So or you can put it on difficulty base, but I like to put this one on high risk, high reward. That way I can have a better shot at missing when I do this method. Now, let me show you the method here. We're going up against. Oh, my. We got to go up against Kawhi and them. Kawhi. Kawhi, my no. OK, they get the ball first. We're going to try to get as many rebounds on defense as we can get. So just stick some solid defense. Get out here and try to put, you know, try to, try to put him in the mud. And he gets a dunk. So, I mean, it happens, it happens. In this method, Rodman happens to be at my point guard position. So I'm gonna call a pick and roll. I'm gonna tell him to roll early. He's gonna go ahead and get behind the defender and I'm just gonna grab that rebound if I can. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, if he ends up in rebounding position again off the throw out, then cool, just shoot it back up again. But if not, you just reset that and try to get another, another board off that way. So that's the easiest, that's the method that I found. That's just the method that makes sense to me. Just try to play as much defense as you can. Use a bad shooter. Get some, uh, get him far away from the rim. Try to get him to shoot something that, that actually gets a good rebound for your rebounder though. Look, now Tyson's blinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to use my alternate player. I'm gonna go ahead and use my alternate player for this one. See if he can get behind the defense, chuck up a brick, get a rebound. I'm still in rebounding position, so ah, I tried to chuck it up again, but he left. I didn't, I must have moved back or something. I scooted out the way. But you can see, as you can see with that method, if you're still in rebounding position, just chuck again. Just chuck another one. 
just just shuck it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the method for that. Let's get into a little bit more a little bit later. All right, so I'm gonna call the pick from Chandler. Like I said, we're gonna get him rolling. Get him rolling towards the rim. I went a little too early. Oh no. See what happens when you shoot that early. When you shoot the ball too early, you gotta make sure that your roller has a shot towards the rim. And if I don't get on my good foot, things are gonna get bad quick. There we go, we're back there. Got, I got one more. I need three more of these. We can get all three of these in this play, to be honest. He's back there. Oh, and we just get snuck for that one. Let's play some good D and try to get one over here on the defensive end of the play. If we're careful, we can get the contest. We need two more. Call for the pick. Come on. He's almost on fire, too. Send him early. He's down there. He's back there, but he's not in position for some reason. 2K. Oh, you burn my biscuits. Let me get that. We got one. We need one more. We can get this one more in the natural flow of the game, but we're going to just try for it because we are like that. And we got our 25th rebound right there. Drummond, rising star, 25 out of 25. You see up in the corner. Let's try to win the rest of this game. All right, so now all I have left are these dunks, which are pretty easy. I have 46 of them, so I need about 55, 56, 54. About 54 more of these joints. Can I count? I'm going to go ahead and pick a pickup full lineup game. And right here, I just want to go ahead and get as many dunks as I can with whoever I can. I mean, just throwing alley-oops to pretty much whoever's going to go get it. Whoever's going to go grab the ball out of the air. I noticed that Vince goes and gets it. He'll, he'll go get it. He'll go get that. Um, Giannis will go get that. Davis will go get that. We're going to put Vince in. Though. We're going to put Vince in and see if he can just go get those. Just go grab those. You know what I mean? And we're going to lob him the ball as many times as we can. See if, see if he can just go get the ball out of the air. No matter who's around him, he usually goes right up there to the board and gets those dunks. So that's pretty much the method. We're just calling alley-oops, getting him to the rim on a decent alley-oop look. All right, now bringing it back down court. We're going to go ahead and call for it from the Greek Freak this time because nobody else seems to want to go get that. Let's get one from Anthony Davis. Let's see how Anthony Davis works out. We're going away from the pick. He has a defender underneath him, so it's not going to work. Wow. So spacing is everything on this. You see, spacing is going to be everything with this, making sure that you hit the right angles and you have the correct space on the floor. Let's throw with someone else, though. Let's just try throwing with someone else because maybe Jalen Brunson just doesn't have the hands and he reneged. There was so much going on in the play that he reneged. Now, this is going to go. You might want to go see my settings video, how to set up in the five out, how to call the five out, how to put your team in the five out. And maybe some defensive settings, too, are in that video um, because that counts. That has that counts a lot for what just happened there. That counts a whole lot. I got a timeout right here so I can show you a little bit. I can show you the little tad bit, a little tad bit of how I get this done. Let's um be the coach. I hit X to be the coach. I hit Y to go over here into these. And what I like to do is find my five out set. Put my team in my five out set. I want them to crash the boards. I want them to push the pace and I want to score in transition. I want to, against the computer, it doesn't really matter, but no drive cut or screen help. And then I want to protect the perimeter and I want to run in transition. Now, I don't know if these are taking effect 2k because i've come back here and i've seen that they were not set to what i set them to they would go back to auto so if anybody's in the development team sees this you know what i mean maybe i want to look into that i don't know if i'm doing it right if something's if i'm not doing something right if i'm not activating something but uh yeah that that's the thing that is actually a thing we're going to give the ball to vince carter and then we're going to call for this man here to get behind the defense and just yam. He's big, he's just bigger than everybody else. So when I put him in a five out set, you see that the floor is set when I get down there. Now on fast breaks, it could be jumbled. You might have to wait. Or if you see something in transition where you could just get there and get the dunk, just get there and get the dunk. But that's my method that I'm using to get these dunks off of this. If, you're want, if you wanna go through this, because we're gonna see at the end of this video if these prizes are even worth this last 17 hours that I sadly spent sitting here doing these. No, not 17 hours. Maybe maybe I spent like six, maybe a good six hours, but that's because I was slow grinding. Pause. Uh, yeah, just getting, getting it in at my pace. You know what I mean? I did a four hour stream on 
Kick last night, actually, doing these. I did a four-hour stream on Kick doing these, and we listened to comedy shows the whole time, the 85 South show, just kicking it. That's just what I like to do. Usually, I'll play a whole album. I'll just play somebody's album, an album that I like or that I've been waiting to listen to, and just uh, sit there and listen to an album and run 2K. No comms. Just not talking to y'all, period. Not talking to the chat, nothing. Just We just sit there and listen to an album from, from cover to cover. That's just that's just how I like to get out. And I don't know what you like to do with yours. That's how I like to do mine. Either way, you saw the method here. I just showed you the method. So let's get into this pack open. And once I finish these, I'll be right back. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, the hard part is over. You see, we got this NBA All-Star history pack right here. What are we going to do with this 10-pack box? Unsellable. We got, we got the unsellable, we did all these, you know what I'm saying? So, now we, all we got it left to do is to see. So you gotta see. You gotta see what this unsellable 10 pack has for us. 10 NBA All-Star History Packs containing one guaranteed player and four random items with the best chance of pulling an NBA All-Star History player. It includes a chance of pulling a second NBA 2K25 Series 1 or Gems of the Game player. I hope I can get one of them Gems of the Game. Ain't no telling. I'm, I mean, look, I just want a diamond player. Let me get a pink diamond. Let me get a diamond. Let me get something healthy. Something healthy. Can I talk? Can I talk? Nothing off that first pack. First pack looking crazy. They just dropped some remixes on the game. They didn't do any gameplay. They didn't touch any gameplay, but they did drop patch notes for patch 1.05 out this joint. I will stick those in the corner of the video or I'll do a short on them, link you to the short. I mean, we gonna talk about them. We have to talk about them. There's nothing left to do but talk about what's new, you know what I mean? And we're not getting nothing out of this. Pack number four, pack five, what is it looking like? Nothing shaking in pack five. We gotta draw an the gym of the game. We gotta go through some of these cards and see what's lock inable. We need to lock in some cards, honestly. I might be going for collector another Paulo Manchero. Boncaro, how do you say this man's name? I have no idea how to say this man's name. Okay, another Fred Van Fleet. I've been seeing a lot of duplicates, bro. What are we on? Pack eight. Okay, at least we got a we got a little purple shaker, a little Amy shaker. That Kobe Bryant one. A little ugly little Kobe Bryant one. Let's see what this Amy's talking about. Too bad we couldn't really get anything out of this pack like we wanted, but at least we got, you know, we got a little, got a little a purple center. Is this Ant? Oh man, it's Ant. It's Ant. We already have Ant. You got me breathing in the mic heavy, 2K. Come on. Why are you doing this to me? Ant's not going for anything on the auction block. I bet. Alex Caruso and Mason Plumley. We do not want those. What is this a topper? I thought we were at 10 already. Another Alex Caruso. Wow. I don't understand. I don't like to let my frustration show on on these videos, but. I'm frustrated. First of all, I just grinded all that time. My body hurts. I'm tired of sitting here. I could have had other things. I could have been doing other things. That's just all I'm saying. Okay, video over. It wasn't worth it. So there you have it. You can waste your time doing that if you want to. It might not be worth it. You might get lucky, but it just so may be that you might not get lucky. And I didn't even make that much MT. I already was sitting at 12, I mean at 200 and something K. So I probably made like 20 K MT. Who knows? Either way, I'm, I'm upset. I'd like to let you know, 2K, I'm upset. Why don't we just open another one? Just because, right? Why not? <laughs> Why not open another one? You know what I mean? I can't stand this sometimes. You guys are so, this, com this computer is so janky. Just. Kobe. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. 